Hi, how are you? I wanted to take a moment to um, show you this uh, Steinberger uh, GM4R that I am selling on Reverb. Um, uh, this is a Newberg era model. Uh, the serial number is uh, N 9583. I do not know what year it's from. I did some kind of quick searching to see if I could figure it out. I believe it's late 80s or early 90s. It is, uh, like I said, it's a Newberg uh, model, uh, so it's from the first factory. Um, it is a GM model with a version 2 body, so it does not have the binding around the outside edge. Um, it's just a, a one solid color. Um, it is in excellent shape. Um, the guitar has a couple little things. There's a little black mark on the side of the guitar right there that's kind of, obviously it hits something black, but it's, it doesn't feel like it's on the surface. It's weird. It, can't, it won't come off. It's just kind of in there. So it's a little black, like, kind of smudge uh, on the side of the guitar right there, up on the upper, upper portion. Um, then there is a small little divot, like a little ding right there. I got a good picture of it in the listing. Um, but it is right there in the corner. It's kind of hard to get on here. Um, that's really it for dings. There aren't really any other dings. Um, the finish does have checkering in it, which is really common for this era and these finishes of these guitars. Um, let me see if I can get it in the picture. Yeah, you can see it a little bit right in there. See how it's going across the lines? Um, that is checkering under, you can't feel it. Like if I rub across the top, it's, it's, it's totally smooth. Um, it is just underneath. It's something that happens with the, with the, the color. Um, it is also on the back of the guitar. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Uh, yeah, you can see it a little bit in there. Um, there are little, like, you know, squir uh, swirls and pick swirls, and, you know, it, it was played, so, but there's no uh, no real damage to the guitar. The neck's in excellent shape. Uh, the frets are in excellent shape. I had them re, uh, re crowned and re leveled by Pika Moose Guitars in New York, um, who are kind of, the, you know, one of the, one of the guru, uh, Steinberger guru sites um, that you can, uh, you can find online. Um, the pickups in it are an EMG 85 and then two EMG SAs. I believe it's an 85. It has the gold writing on it, so I think that's an 85. Um, the pickups sound excellent. This does have the R tremolo, which is basically like Steinberger's answer to the Floyd. When the Floyd was getting more and more popular, they came out with this as opposed to like their transposing tremolo, which they had before that. Um, it is basically just Floyd. The nice thing is kind of like Parker guitars. It does have this little notch right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little notch right there that you can use to lock in, uh, lock in the trim so it's so it's locked, so it, it's not floating. Otherwise, it's completely fully floating. Um, so uh, the pickups sound great. Let me uh, just kind of demo them. I'll demonstrate them without any distortion first. So you've got fifth position, just the bridge position. <laughs> got second position. Hopefully you can hear the difference. It's on an iPhone iPhone video, so who knows? But we'll see. There's the middle, second position, and neck position. And I'll put on some gains. So you can hear what those sound like. The pickups definitely have a great sound. I think the mix of the EMG pickups, this specific body design with the floating bridge, and the the carbon neck give this kind of like a growl. It's got like an anger to the sound that's that's awesome. And it's really fast. It kind of packs a lot of attack. Um, Vito Brata licks in. Neck pickup sounds excellent. Uh, nice and warm. Um, so the pickups sound excellent. Like I said, it is in excellent shape. Uh, let me just do a quick kind of just kind of show you. There's not really any dings on any of the corners.
So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to um, email me at the store or through Reverb. And um, thank you very much for looking.